God, you're so annoying. Which sounds like I belong in Lord of the Rings. Hello everyone, you're here with H, and the H today stands for hate. Hatred. I hate you, rat boy. Guys, let's just chill out, okay? <laughs> As you can see from that opening comment, that was a comment left by someone who couldn't spell annoying, so they decided, I'm going to comment this on one video, then I'm going to go to another video and comment the exact same thing and still not spell annoying properly. But if you thought that was the end of them, no, because they then say, I'm reporting this UTEB channel for talking to Musk's lame. Oh, oh shit. There I was thinking I was uploading YouTube videos, but I'm actually uploading UTEB videos. So I apologize, man. Please forgive me. Now, this person, I went on their channel. They, the last video that they uploaded, they uploaded 11 years ago, and it was reviewing their Pokemon DVD collection. So not only do I not like you because you can't spell, you also have ruined the Pokemon name for me. Get out of here. Pick up here. Pick up here. Which is correct. Pick a better hobby. Pick a better thing to do with your life, man. Now, this person is actually the only person I've ever, like, blocked from the channel because... I don't mind you coming at me, do you know what I mean? In the least erotic way possible, come at me if you want. However, they then decided to write disparaging comments against Mildred, who is a TT member, and I didn't, I wasn't a fan of that, right? You can do whatever you want or say to me, but not to the TT members who spend their time allowing me to be a part of their day so you can F yourself. So after I saw that comment, I blocked this this guy from the channel. So F yourself. You can't even see that I'm saying this right now, but get a grip of yourself if you genuinely think you can come on this channel and start hating on other people. Get a grip. Have a civil discussion, please. And learn how to spell, at the very least. Ooh, you're hard, showing off. We next have a catfish commander. We have a scamfish sergeant properly riding, right, on the team. Stop using social catfish content. Well, shit then. If you tell me to, then that must mean I have to stop. Don't get me wrong, and I said it in a recent commentary as well. I am forever grateful to the Catfish team, and they know it themselves through personal messages, through comments on their page, through them shouting me out, etc, etc. That not only are they a fan of me, or at least I hope so. I don't know too much nowadays, but back in the day at the very least. But they know that I'm very appreciative for what they've done for us on this channel, right? Like, I'm not oblivious to the fact that it is the most popular content on this channel. And it's why or, or how a lot of people have even found me. So I'll forever be grateful to them. So I will not stop because if they don't have a problem with it, who in God's name are you to have a problem with it? Now, this next one, <laughs> I don't know if this is... Uh, a hate comment or, you know, some sort of joke that's gone way over my head. But let me know in the comments. You look and act like the vegetable police. What does that mean? Someone long ago uh, was talking about, like, gay frogs and stuff. Lord knows what they were on about. And I don't know what you're on about here. What is the vegetable police? Who are they? They sound cool, to be honest. But if they're not cool, 
and and you guys in the comments tell me that they are some kind of gang that hunts Turkish Taliban's. I don't agree with them. All right, who are the vegetable police? If you're if you're saying sometimes I go red like a tomato, sure, but you could actually argue tomatoes are fruit. So forget I said that. Maybe I'm part of the fruit police. But let me know in the comments. Who are the vegetable police? Because we might actually start calling ourselves vegetable police instead of <laughs> Turkish Taliban. Just because if I ever make merch, right? I'm not sure I can put Turkish Taliban on a t-shirt, guys. Like, <laughs> that's just not going to work. So maybe vegetable police might stick. So actually, thank you for that. Okay, next one. Now, the next three comments, we get a little bit more serious, especially the last two. And genuinely, I I'm being accused of bigotry, so we'll get to those comments. But first, this person says, you do take a long time to say not very much. I think I'll just go find the article. Meanwhile, you should consider writing a script, improving it, cutting out all the flotsam and unnecessary pauses so you can get to the point quicker and actually know the point you're aiming for. First of all, what's flotsam? Second of all, you spell and with an. So maybe you should go back and improve your comment. Maybe write a script to help you. <laughs> this comment came from the video where 14-year-old Sewell unfortunately took his life and we were reading the article about the potential involvement of the AI chatbot, for example. So how you've come to the conclusion that in that video, your main, your main thought, yeah, I'm going to comment about this guy's lack of a script. That says more about you than it does me. Now, secondly, this is a commentary channel. This is a reaction channel. This isn't a news network. This isn't one of those true crime channels, for example, where you need a script to coherently tell the story of a murder case, for example. If I write a script, the whole authenticity and, and my genuine reaction just becomes null and void. Like, I now have a script. Oh, this person might not like this. That person might not like this. Oh, this joke might not be funny to some people. Oh, but this joke might be funny. So was it, where's the, where is the fun in that, to be honest? I started this channel, one, making skits, right? Now, in those skits, largely, they were unscripted as well. I was improv with myself. But sometimes I did have a script just because there were certain jokes that I wanted to include. But that's acting, right? So you want me to have a script and turn the commentaries into acting, where I don't care if people don't find something funny or they don't like this particular joke, because I'm just being me, myself. That's the point of this channel. I didn't make this channel, which actually is hypocritical, because... I made the channel to post my skit, so I'm not being myself. But I made the change to be myself in commentaries and reactions because I just got tired of the acting. Hopefully that makes sense to everyone. So if anyone is wondering, no, I'm not going to make scripts for the future, especially when I'm reading articles about such tragic cases. What did you want exactly? Like a polished professional video. Get a grip of yourself. Now the next one. Now we start to get into, you know, the people who are calling me bigots, for example. The person says the commentary seems like overkill, which okay, you know, that's your thoughts on it. You don't like the commentary, that's one thing. They then say looks like misogynoir, which I had to Google what that means. And it means hatred towards black women. Now, this comment comes from the Lakeisha video where she let scammers talk to her daughters, which I, I called her a shitty mother for, right? And in the past, I've called other people shitty mothers. 
I've called a white woman a shitty mother. If you want to watch that video, I'll put it up there, right? Now, I can't believe that I have to include this comment in a, in a hate video and I have to address it when I'm hoping everyone who's been supporting the channel knows that I don't care about your background, your skin color, your sexual orientation, or any other factor that makes a human being an individual. If you're being a shitty person, I'm calling you out. Like, there isn't an, an ulterior motive to it. I've called out white women, called out white men, Asian men, Asian women, black men, black women. Now, if you want to say I hate black women, when quite literally in a very recent video, I've called out a black man for one, fetishizing light-skinned women, but also displaying colorism in the fact that he was saying Tiana Trump, his lover, had real hair because she was mixed, as if black women can't have real hair. So if you've come to the conclusion from one video, you've never seen me before ever in your life, you've come to the conclusion that I hate black women. My lord, you're probably not watching this video, but this is more so to everyone else watching this. Come on, seriously? I don't want to go too much and start listing off all the reasons why. <laughs> why I'm not a bigot? Because this video would be seven hours long, I guess. But it's just ridiculous. And those are the type of comments I hate to see, right? It's one thing calling me not funny. It's another thing to assassinate my character essentially. And to be honest, it really does hurt me, I guess is the word. Now, I've never mentioned this, but I'm actually scared to read the comments because of comments that might appear like this. I wear my heart on my sleeve, right? Sometimes I get a bit too heated and I get angry at, at a scamfish victim, for example. But I've never, never used bigoted language or or bigoted behavior, for example, to criticize their shitty behavior because that's just not who I am. But you figured me out. Apparently, I am actually uh, a bigot towards black women. So whoever you are, to, I'm not going to lie to you, go and f*** yourself, all right? Sorry to put it so crudely, everyone, but I had to. Now, the next comment comes from someone who's actually been watching the channel for a while. So again, you know, it, it, it hurts me to, to have such accusation thrown towards me. They say, oh my gosh, I have to turn away from this video. Have you considered this woman was lonely and depressed? She's over 80. Found many of your comments illustrate, once again, a lack of wisdom and education only time can bring. I am unsubscribing. Most of your videos are great. Others, I can't support your comments on the lives and mindsets of older victims. So essentially, you, you've said I'm ageist. I, I have something not only against black women, I now have something against older people. Because apparently on this channel, uh, on a channel predominantly where the viewership are quote-unquote older people, you are the only one to have an issue with my comments towards elderly victims of scams. And it's not even like I say, oh, you've been scammed because you're an older person when that's far from it, because we've looked at younger scam victims as well, and I've kept the same... What's the word? I've kept the same energy. I just can't understand, right? This person, by the way, has left several of these comments. They leave this comment, then they come back in another video to say that, oh, thank you for not showing ageism in this video. I've given you another chance. And then the next video, 
they are calling me ageist again. Then the next video, they've given me another chance. Hold on a second. How does that make sense? I j By the way, there's been so many cases where we've looked at a victim who is an elderly woman and, I, and I've felt sympathy for her, but there's no comment there from you, is there? You're, you're not anywhere to be seen on that video. But then the videos where once again, similar to the, miso the misogynoir noir comment, every video, I've never said this person's being scammed because they're elderly and grouped together all elderly people because that would just be so stupid because it's not true. You don't get scammed because you're elderly. You get, you get scammed because you're a fool. Which I've called the younger victim. Anyway, I'm getting too ahead of myself. I thought I've muted the mic. Hello everyone, Editing Age here. Just wanted to chime in, give a little bit more context to this ageist comment here. Now, not too long ago before that comment, there was a video where, you know, a woman was cheating and this person, same person, left the comment saying cheating isn't cookie cutter and everyone's relationship is different. And I'll put it on the screen right now. You can pause it. I ain't reading all that out, but you can pause it. I don't like the fact that this person sort of weaponized anxiety there to, to say getting through my video gives her anxiety because I'm judging the older person for cheating. Like, to me, it seems like because we obviously don't have the same values when it comes to cheating and we don't have the same opinion, I feel like you've twisted this situation, I guess if you want to call it, and you've used ageism and, and, and targeted towards me as some sort of, oh, we don't agree on this thing, so that must mean you're ageist. Sorry? Look, maybe you guys will let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this, but it's just crazy to see that that message says, I still love you, boo. And then, next video, you're calling me ageist and unsubscribing. I just, like, if you don't agree with me, cool. A lot of people actually don't agree with me in the comments. But we keep it civil, right? We don't weaponize bigotry and start pointing fingers. It's just mental. But I do want to give a special shout out to Stephanie. I'll put her comment up there. She is near 70 years old and and has been supporting me against that person's, you know, ageism comments against me. So it, it does fill me with both confidence and happiness that I'm glad there are actually people and there's so many of you who don't resort to, to such BS and don't try and label me as, as anything other than me just calling out bullshit. Anyway, back to the video. I just, it's just, my brain hurts to read these. Do you know what I mean? Like, call me unfunny. Say I'm ugly or something. Don't try and accuse me of hating certain groups of people when that's just not who I am. Don't don't act like you know me, bro. Anyway, I might have been too heated, uh, f you know, there. But again, the unscripted nature, and also I'm I'm being slandered, so I'm gonna be angry. But hopefully, you guys <laughs> enjoyed that. I guess. I mean. If you, if you've learned anything from this video, is that apparently, uh, I mean, I'm a racist incel, and I hate elderly people. <laughs> Great, rest in peace to my grandmother because that must mean I hate her as well. 
I don't want to say, you know, rude things again, but hey, look, I'm not going to stop being me. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to make the script. I'm not going to... I'm. If I want to get heated, I'm going to get heated, right? If I have something to say, I'm going to say it. And by the way, that should tell you that I'm not this bigoted person you think I am. Because it being unscripted, everything that's coming out of my mouth, I'm not thinking. My mouth goes like this. My brain is still, you know, seven years behind. It's going to catch up later. So it's just... Look, uh, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. I feel like uh, uh, we don't need to extend this. I don't like filming these videos. They do, you know, put me in stress. But I feel like I have to defend myself, I guess. But I know a lot of people will say that I shouldn't give these people sort of attention. But if they're going to slander me on a, on a public platform, I feel like I can, I can swing for the fences myself. But hopefully you guys enjoy it, I guess. Uh, and just to reiterate, I'm not going to change. I'm still going to be me. I'm not going to tiptoe around, you know, calling people out because I'm afraid someone might call me racist or something, or someone might call me a bigot for something else just because I'm calling out shitty behavior irregardless of who they are as a person. I'm calling out their actions. Not gonna, I'm not going to tiptoe around it because then what's the point of this channel, right? I don't know how bigger creators do it. I don't know how they read their comments. But, you know, reading the, this type of comment, you know, it really puts a downer on the channel as a whole. And it also it kind of makes me not want to post because I'm scared to read the comments. And I don't want to turn off the comments because so many of you wonderful people leave good comments, insightful comments. You know, if I'm wrong about something, you will correct me, you know. All in all, is we got a community, but sometimes people, you know, accuse me of just BS. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.